What up, guys? This is something I've meant to do for a long time. As you can see, my my stack here is just off the wall. So I'm trying to start boxing some of this shit up and putting it somewhere else so I can actually see my counter again. So uh, what this is here, obviously, is going to be my next Star Wars drop of figures. Excuse me if I sound funny because I'm sucking on a fireball. So anyways, uh, this is uh, obviously been going on for well over a year this pile I think I've got it all out of the garage and out of my truck but uh, I'm gonna just start going through it one by one uh, what, do it, what the hell is this guy uh, Cal Castis from that video game Fallen Order I don't know what I think of that I maybe only dedicated a few nights to it and I cooled off on it and I never jumped back on it but it is a good figure and he is supposed to be canon uh, so anyways, next up we have part of the Bad Batch, which is Wrecker. So far I've only found two of these. I hope they didn't release all the line at once, or not the line, the five of them, because I just can't seem to be finding any other than the two I have. Uh, he's a very large figure. I don't know if that's coming up on the uh, camera or not, but uh, he just came out. He's probably, you can still find him in targets and whatnot right now. Found this boba last summer out toy hunting out west, uh, and he was still sitting in my truck all this time. Uh, there was two of them at the time, and I do regret not going back or buying both of them at the same time, but I didn't feel like dropping 60 bucks. and then eight hours later, I'm like, man, I should have bought him. And of course, when I went back, he was gone. So next up, of course, is Dark Vision Ray. She had uh, about a 10-second dream sequence in Rise of Skywalker. And of course, they had to make a figure of it instantly, but I bought it. Not a fan of it, though. So up next is the Carbonized Stormtrooper. These figures are a little bit more sought after. I believe I found a gaggle of these in a Books a Million last year around Christmas time. Uh, really, it doesn't look like a... Well, it looks like a Stormtrooper, but it's more looks like a... Oh, God, now I can't even think of his name. That chick. <laughs> Wait, never mind, I'm not even going to guess. Up next is Moff Gideon. I'm sitting on a bunch of these. I was in love with the figure when it first came out. I think I was giving them away as Christmas presents. I probably bought up to ten of these and just passed them around. Uh, of course, he's from The Mandalorian. Up next we have uh, recently released, still in stores, Carbonized Shore Trooper. I think it looks really good. Uh, I like it a lot. It says it's from the Mandalorian. I don't recall this guy, but whatever. Went out on May the 4th, didn't find anything, but I did find this lone figure, the client, also from the Mandalorian. So I scooped him up. I'm assuming he's new, fresh in, uh, fresh in the stores. Uh, he's a re-release, I'm assuming, except now he's got like a soft goods robe. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt his name. It's true. It's something from Rogue One. Uh, and it was one of my favorites, and that's why I bought him. It, did, uh, it only hit me now that he's got a cloth robe on. Up next, fresh in stores as well, is a carbonized Scout Trooper. You can see the detail in it. It's pretty damn good. Uh, like I said, these carbonized figures are a lot more sought after, and they sell for a lot more money. So, of course, I picked them up, and I'm boxing them up and putting them away. Up next, we have Bounty Hunter Alora Singh from the Clone Wars. She's come out in the last few months. Never really saw her in stores. I got her in hobby shops. No, I got them in GameStop. <laughs> I got her both times at a GameStop. Up next, obviously, I have a lot from The Mandalorian. It's the armorer, the leader of what's left of The Mandalorians. Uh, up next, we have Zelbar, I believe is a female Wookiee, very powerful. Uh, I have this character on my, what is it? Uh, I can't even think of the game I'm playing on my phone. Um, <laughs> but I think it's a dope figure. It's very large as well. Uh, it's been out for over the last year, but I, I haven't been seeing it anymore in stores. So if you missed out, you probably, it's gone. Up next, we have the Imperial... Uh, jet Trooper, right? Rocket Trooper. Uh, gaming greats. 
which I just call cash grab figures, like the last one was too. Gosh, I just now noticed, because I pulled this out of my garage yesterday, it is a first order Stormtrooper officer. And as you see that symbol there, that was a Toys R Us exclusive. Man, that's been sitting in my garage for years. Up next, we have Ventress. Ventress from Clone Wars. Never found her in stores, and I never thought I did would. I think I ordered her from GameStop. I had doubles. She's in here somewhere. Uh, I love that character. I believe this is her first black. I'm pretty sure she's had three inch figures, but uh, I had to scoop her up. So up next, we have General Lando Calrissian. Outfit, obviously, is from Return of the Jedi. Uh, I got him the last year. I'm sure this was a GameStop exclusive, too. Up next, also from The Mandalorian, Bo-Katan. I have a few of her. I didn't think I was going to find her in stores. Eventually, I did, but I know I bought a couple online. Up next, also Mandalorian. Uh, God, what is his name? Uh, there it is. Gref. Gref Karga. This was definitely a sh uh, shelf warmer at Walmarts everywhere, even in Targets. Of course, this is Jar Jar Binks. Not a horrible figure, but I don't know why they thought uh, that should have been a $30 figure. That was probably part of the problem. Why you probably can still find them in stores all this time later. Up next, we have from Rogue One, K2SO. Next up is First Time in the Line. Uh, Count Dooku, I was waiting for this figure to be made forever and a day. I, I, gosh, I think I ordered one and found one in Target, and I screamed like a little girl when I did. I was waiting forever to land that figure. Up next, from Star Wars Revel, we have uh, Kenan Jarrus. Um, this is his second black figure. Up next, we have Admiral Akbar. Up next is R5P8. I believe this is just some robot from Galaxy Edge. I don't even think it's canon, but I ended up buying him because I was like, you never know. He's probably going to be collectible or something one day. So up next is Darth Maul. They come in these, well, not, not just him, but these small little uh, box cases that open up. So you... You open him up, that's what's on the inside. It is uh, when he was an apprentice, Sith apprentice. I don't have one of the his original black because I wasn't collecting them then. And then uh, basically the market was just flooded with Chinese knockoffs and I've never pulled the trigger on it. So I am happy that at least I have this figure. Next up we have Luke. This is Dagobah Luke, I'm assuming. Uh, I'm not a fan of the head sculpt. I think this is a very weak figure, but I still bought it. Up next from Rogue One, we have Bodai Rook. Up next from Gaming Greats, we have Stormtrooper Commander. Um, I don't know what I think because they just flood the market with these figures. Not this one in particular, just the troopers because they can just keep remaking them and remaking them and remaking them. That's why I think I only have one. It is a nice figure. I like the detail in it and all, but I don't know. Up next, I believe this was a GameStop exclusive uh, when it came out, which is Clone Commander Wolf. It was very sought after at the time. I know I have a few of these. Again, from the Gaming Greats line, which is generally only found, I think, in GameStop. This is a Scout Trooper. I don't know what that accessory is it comes with. Up next, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi, Jedi Knight. Up next, we have Princess Leia. Up next, we have a Rebel tro Trooper. <sighs> God, I can't remember if it's Return of the Jedi, but this is uh, the big Hoth battle scene. Up next, which is a pretty cool looking figure. I'll give you a better look. It is from the Gaming Greats, the Electro Purge Trooper. Uh, I'm assuming it's just strictly from the video games. Oops, sorry about that. Up next, we have Sabin Ren from Clone Wars? No, Clone... Uh, does it say? 
Rebels. The, there you go. This is her second black figure. It is a little bit better than the first. Up next, we have Zeb from Rebels as well. Very large figure. Pretty dope looking. Up next is Clone C Commander Gree. I know I found this at a GameStop, I think, within the last year. I don't know what it was. They were getting all this old Star Wars black stock. I mean, you were finding everything. Um, and I, I know I have a few of him, too, so I grabbed another one because I know it's worth something. It's uh, kind of a very popular figure. Up next, we have Snow Speeder Luke. Up next, we have Darth Nihilus, which I do regret not buying more of him. I think I bought two and gave one to my nephew, which I didn't even like giving to him. It was in a Christmas video, I think last Christmas, not this Christmas, the last. Ugh. And like I said, I do regret giving that to him. <laughs> Up next, we have Tebow the Ewok. Up next, we have Padawan Atakin. Anakin, what did I just say? Now we get into more of the ridiculousness. This is a Disney cash grab figure. It is the Holiday Edition Clone Trooper. I think they had a set of four different figures. I think I only bought one for S's and Giggles, but I hate myself for doing it. <laughs> Up next, we have Return of the Jedi Han Solo. Up next, we have Janna from, what is it, Rise of Skywalker. A figure that didn't, a figure, a character that definitely didn't need to be in the movie. Mate, what, whatever, it's Disney. And they got to make another figure to sell us. From the bad batch line, we have the Elite Squad Trooper. See what I mean about troopers? They just basically repaint them, throw them in a box, and sell you another piece of plastic. Up next, we have Inferno Squad member agent. This was a GameStop exclusive. It should be a gaming greats. So I do not believe this was an actual canon character, but somebody might scream at me in the comments that it is. I'm not positive. Up next is a Grimorian guard. I believe I found him within the last year of one of the old stock of figures that GameStop was bringing into stores, and I've already got two of him, I believe, stashed away somewhere. It is probably one of my favorite figures of the black line. So, I, like I said, I scooped him up, and he is a extra, extra. And then last but not least is a Captain Cardinal. I believe this is just a fictional uh, Galaxy Edge character. Um, it looks like a carbon copy of that... Uh, what is that? Uh, that female... Trooper's name. I don't know. Somebody knows it. I'm having a brain fart. It looked good, so I bought it, uh, but it's another cash grab figure. I actually can see counter space, so this is a good day. I've got that all packed up and boxed away. If you like what you saw, please leave a comment, hit like, subscribe, hit that notif bleh, notification bell so you don't miss any future content, and I will catch you in the next video. Mad Viking out. Thanks for watching.